Did it ever happen to you? You're at the wedding shooting bridal prep. Uh, you, you get the rings, so you're gonna take a photo of the rings. You take your camera, you try to take a photo of the ring, you get closer, you get even closer and closer because you want to have the rings really big in the photo, but suddenly your camera stops focusing. And actually, it's not your camera that is not focusing, it's the lens that is not focusing because it's not a macro lens. So you grab your bag in order to find your macro lens in it, but then you realize you don't have any macro lenses because you're a wedding photographer. You're not a macro photography photographer. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get even closer to your subject and take an actual macro shot with your regular lenses, 24G Master, 35G Master, 50G Master. So let's just do it. Hello everyone, my name is Magic. I'm a wedding photographer, Sony Europe ambassador, father of four children. Welcome to this YouTube channel, uh, the channel where I mostly talk about wedding photography, Sony gear, lenses, cameras, techniques, and, and software even. So yeah, I do apologize for the mess here. We're, we're having a construction site right here, as you can see. You know that all these Legos are my kids, right? So in this video, I'm gonna show you a quick tip uh, how to take a macro photography photos with a regular lenses. And by regular lens, I mean a lens that is a non-macro lens that cannot focus when you get to a certain distance from a subject. And that certain distance is called minimal focusing distance. Um, it's actually written here on the lens. So for example, 24G Master has 0.24 meters or 0.79 feet um, of a minimal focusing distance. If you get closer than this, it won't focus. No out of focus, no manual focus, no nothing. Look at this. Uh, this is how close you can get with a 24G Master. This is a with the manual mode focus distance of 0.24 meters. If you take a 35G Master, this is how close you can get. So it's 0.27 uh, meters or uh, 0.89 feet. And if you take 50G Master, for example, you can get as close as 0.4 meters, which is 1.32 uh, feet. So if you want to get closer, there are like few solutions. First of all, you can just get a macro lens. There are macro lenses out there that will allow you to actually get closer to your subject and make a, a bigger photo of your subject. Uh, but we're not talking get a macro lens here. The other option would be getting extension tubes. So these are the tubes that you put in between your lens and a camera in order to create a bigger distance between sensor and the back element of the uh, back glass element of your lens. And this will create a greater magnification of whatever you are shooting. But it's kind of a pain, you know, you have to have those tubes on you in your bag. You have to take your lens out, mount those tubes, then mount the lens on those tubes, then detach this like so much hassle just to take a one photo of a, you know rings but what can you do without having any of these um you can actually create an invisible extension tube which is a technique called free lensing so what you are actually doing is you are detaching your lens okay let's see you are detaching your lens from your camera and and, and hold it like this really close to your camera and by moving it like up and down and you, you're kind of focusing this way. And <laughs> this gives you actually the same result as you would get with a extension tube. In addition to adds this more even dreamy effect. And le let me just show you how it works with all of these three lenses. Okay, so the first thing you need to remember is that you have to set your camera to be able to take photos without a lens. And you will find it in a shutter and silent um, menu on Sony a7 IV and the newer menu. In the older menu, it's somewhere out there. You'll find it. It's called release without lens. If you have this enabled, you're good to go. I'm gonna try to take a photo of these guys. There's some dust on them, let's just remove. And while I'm doing this, I'm actually gonna let you know that if you like the colors on my photos, the photos that you can see here, you can always purchase my presets. I do have a preset pack on sale with a full editing masterclass, which is right now over 120 minutes of me editing. So if you like the effect, link is in the description. And now, oh, let's see, with 24G Master, this is as close as you can get, and now it stops focusing. You see, there is no way you can focus closer, so let's take a shot. 
this is the photo I could get um, here. And now I'm going to detach the lens. Okay, so I'm detaching the lens, but I'm still holding the lens like it would be attached to my camera. And now by moving a little forward, I'm going to slightly move the lens away from a camera. So I move closer to the subjects and I move away a camera. You see, I can get closer. In addition to that, I can move my lens up and down and this create a sort of a tilt shift effect. You see, uh, you get to play around with that plane of focus, which is nice. And also there's additional bonus to this technique. Let's take a photo one and then another one like this. You see how close I can get? And in addition to that, uh, because your extension tube, let's say, is invisible, so your lens is away from your sensor, you create a lot of space for light to get into sensor, which creates a slight leak effect, which can be nice, can add to that dreamy effect of the photo. So depending on how close you can get or how dreamy or not super sharpy effect you want to have, um, you, you can decide whether you want to have rather a, a lens really close to your body like this and take a photo, bam, or you want to go really crazy, really close, but very dreamy, bam, bam, bam. Let's do the same with 35G Master now. So 35G Master, I usually do it with 35 and a 50, not 24. So I mounted on my camera first to show you how close I can get. Okay, okay. Okay, that's it. That's how close I can get. That's the closest. Let's take a photo. And now I'm gonna detach the lens again. Keep it close to my camera and slightly move away when I move in towards the subject. So that's nice, you see, bam, I can take a photo, I can get even closer. So moving my lens even farther away, bam, let's take a photo. And now getting even closer, let's get super close, super crazy, super close. Like this, let's add this additional tilty shifty effect. Bam. So if you want to have more confirmation of how sharp is the image you can turn on actually focus peaking. Um, let's now do it with 50 G Master at 1.2. So that's 51.2 and that's as close as I can get. Let's take a photo now. Let's remove the lens, move it away and let's get closer. Let's see, let's see. Let's first start with this. And now let's go crazy. It's going to be harder with longer lenses as the, the depth of field is going to be shallower. So it's going to be more tricky to actually find a way or you have to move your camera really away from the lens. So uh, probably this is the best I can have. Let's see. Can I get any closer? It's more dreamy. It's it's more crazy. It looks like from a spaceship. Oh, wait, let's play it. Okay, I found a way to remove those light leaks. It does require a practice. You need to find, you know, a way to get stuff you want in focus by just moving your camera, your lens up and down away closer to the subject but yeah it's a really cool technique and it doesn't require anything additional to what you already have so whenever you want to take a photo you know more detailed photo more dreamy photo of the rings at the bridal preparation you can always do this super easy right so thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video let me know down in the comments if you like this effect or if you use freelancing for your photography and yeah i see you guys in the next video